That's okay. As a result, the much-anticipated Terra upgrade has the endorsement of Binance, according to reports. So don't forget to watch the show I'm binging on in Spanish and delete the Terra network, which is getting an upgrade today following the community's approval of Proposition 894. We can expect a significant increase in network performance as a result of the migration. Three new features will be added as a result of the transition. The Block 8900 will be temporarily halted as per the team's predictions. On the 29th of July, around 12 a.m. at C, this will take place with a majority vote, Proposition 894, which would have upgraded the chain and included three new updates, was a success. In order to do the upgrade with additional validators, the Terra blockchain will be briefly shut down at block 890,000, which is around 12 a.m. Let's see on July 29. The Terra Luna network upgrade has gained a lot of support, and therefore a fresh prop upgrade has been happening on. However, Binance will support this upgrade. Arizona and Binance have always been kind to us in a fundamental way. According to Tara, the May 27 hard fork addressed a number of issues. Special accounts and how transactions occur on them are the focus of the current debate. In other words, it's a modest fix. So, I believe that's a request to repair a minor glitch and then move on to the rest of the game. A lot of people miss the hard fork and how to resolve it. But it looks like the Tara chain is going to fix a few more issues. Tara, I'm assuming it'll support some sort of Luna network that we're not familiar with. Initially, Luna Classic 13 restricted the creation of vesting accounts to only those created during Genesis. Transactions on the network will be able to produce vesting accounts following this upgrade. So that was a big draw for a lot of fans. On the future, if enough votes are cast in the original version, the game could potentially receive the upgrade it deserves. The second upgrade will enable for the removal of the incorrectly whitelisted vault address. As a result, no Luna tokens were sent to the address in question because it was missing a letter. Pre-attack Luna Classic allocations will now have a vesting time of 30% unlocked, six months remaining, and a two-year period of vesting. Users will be able to make transactions to the community pool after the third and final update, which is currently under progress. An announcement has been made by Binance that they would support Terra's upgrade. In addition, Binance will take care of the technological requirements. Again, the fact that the largest exchange in the world is actively assisting us is enormous, and we are also attempting to actively work on Terra within the Classic. Despite the fact that many people expected to see significant changes to the traditional fork upgrade, they haven't really been smashed out like a button at a fall for a longer period of time. Defects plague both Tara USD and Luna, which is why they were both cancelled. That's why I'd like to learn more about it. Smash! I'd like to keep you all updated on any new pieces I'm looking for.